brought to you by the Bendix King KT-74 Transponder. If you're upgrading, it's never been so easy to plan ahead. And by Lightspeed Aviation, whose Zulu.2 sets the standard in the premium headset market. Hello everyone, this is Paul Bertarelli reporting on my way to AirVenture at Oshkosh, Wisconsin. I've stopped off at the Continental Motors facility in Fairhope, Alabama. Behind me is a Cessna 182Q equipped with a diesel conversion of Continental's new TD300 diesel. This engine is going to be at AirVenture and you can take a closer look at it. But meanwhile, let's get a technical review of it from Jim Ray, who's one of the project engineers on the TD300. And then Mike Gifford is going to tell us how Continental plans to market the diesel engine. This is the Continental Motors TD300B engine. It was certified in December of 2012. It's 230 horsepower at 2200 RPM. Uh, the engine, from the base technology, we've increased the compression ratio from 15 to 1 to 17 to 1. Uh, what that means for a pilot is slower speeds at landing, lower manifold air pressures. It'll also improve uh, the prevention of engine stall at colder conditions. Uh, we've changed several components, one being the intake manifold, the piston, conrod, uh, conrod piston pin, piston rings. Uh, all those are for manufacturability, uh, performance, or durability. Uh, we've also improved um, the through bolts to handle the loading from the engine it sees there. This turbocharger here is a critical altitude of sea level for the 300B engine. We're also working on a new turbocharger that'll take the critical altitude uh, from sea level to 10,000 feet. And that's 230 horsepower at 10,000 feet. It'll also increase the ceiling. Uh, the operational ceiling will go from 12,500 to 20,000 feet. Uh, it'll be a greatly improved altitude performance. Uh, it'll be able to carry 230 horsepower all the way to 10,000 feet. You're going to get great fuel economy compared to some spark ignited engines. Um, you're looking at a .36 SFC. Uh, really nice engine. It's smooth idling. It's smooth running. Uh, there's little to no vibration in the cockpit. Uh, again, it runs on Jet A, so it's a global fuel. We've uh, completed uh, certification of this Continental Motors engine, and we're going to enter into the market in several different areas. We're going to enter into the new aircraft uh, production of existing airframes, converting them from a conventional gasoline engine over to a diesel. We're also going to be concentrating on uh, new airframes, new, newer technology airframes for a lot of emerging markets uh, globally, uh, as well as searching out uh, STC avenues in current airframes. And we're not sticking strictly with fixed wing. We're going to also be moving into the rotor wing market and also some non-certified uh, kit airplanes. This is a very versatile engine that's going to uh, fit a wide variety of aircraft. The Cessna 182 that I'm standing in front of is an excellent airframe and has been ever since the day it was released. Uh, but this new engine will afford it new life in a lot of areas of the world that aviation and gasoline is not available today. And also maybe uh, assistance in the, domestically in the United States when we uh, finally determine what we're going to do with our no lead or lead situation. Uh, the estimated cost of this engine uh, will be very comparable to our uh, current uh, turbocharged 550 series. It's a very popular engine. Uh, that equates to somewhere between eighty-five dollars and $95,000 range for the engine new. And uh, once we get uh, this uh, engine out into the market and we start getting engines back that have reached uh, TBR, we'll also be offering a rebuilt version of the uh, engine just like we do with our legacy aircraft currently today that is also built right in the factory. These engines will be manufactured in Mobile, Alabama uh, alongside the legacy Avgas engines. It'll be supported as a new engine and also as a rebuilt option uh, once we start getting some uh, parts back from the field when the previous engines have reached TBR and we get an inventory of those products also just like we do currently. You can find out more about this engine uh, on our Continental Motors website that's continentalmotors.aero -E and watch out for uh, future uh, information and this engine should be available uh, later this year. Brought to you by the Sennheiser S1 family of aviation headsets. See us at AirVenture booth number 288 and by XMWX Satellite Weather. Full perspective on any device you choose. Come see the latest at AirVenture, booth 3037.